Hi everybody, this is Dark Angel from Dark Angel Productions with my second video for my video log of the cosplay Yu-Gi-Oh! I have gotten mm, a fair bit of ways in the costume. I've managed to start working on the Millennium Puzzle. This is the inside interior of it. This will be the top, as you can see by the diagram I've drawn. I have been doing research on how to build the puzzle and managed to come up with this skeleton so I have an idea of what I want to go for. I'm going to sand down these edges where the black line is to give it the slant before I put the final pieces in to give it a skeleton. Then I'm just going to layer pieces of paper clay. It's a sculpting craft. And I will sculpt down the image that I want to put on the puzzle. I'm going to tell you, binding designs and diagrams for the puzzle, not easy. I've been looking up a lot of things for me to use as a reference for his costume. His, his costume changes several times throughout the series. Same with his wig. You get the, easy, the soft, easy lines and all that stuff in the beginning, first volumes. I bought, I went and bought the omnibus so that way I had something to use as a reference. And <laughs> yeah, I'm going from the beginning hairstyle with Yugi and all that. It's not going to be the best idea. I mean, as you can see, his hair was. really different compared to later on in the book, not any of the books. His hair progresses and the lines get sharper. I had to decide which version of his wig that I wanted to use, well, more of his hair. Did I want to go with the softer look or did I want to go with the hard edges that you normally see in it? And I have to figure out how I'm going to build this thing not exactly easy to get the materials to do this. This is actually just little, as you can see, little popsicle sticks all the way around. It's a little dowel, a wooden dowel that I had from a previous project. A little piece of paper to cover it. And the rest of it's just mask and tape. See, the foam core is right in here. That's how I was able to just ram this in here. That's what this is. It's just hot glued, like six of these little popsicle sticks around each edge. And I had to create little corners. Not easy, but this is my prototype. And if it works well, I will actually use this as the puzzle. I'm hoping it works well, because <laughs> not exactly easy. And I have to finish sanding and getting it into shape. But I think it's getting there. We'll have to see. Well, that's my progress so far on the Millennium Puzzle. Uh, the Bardock costume, I've managed to make the arm warmers and the leg warmers to finish that off. I finally found some patterns that I can use for the bodysuits. Normally you could buy a bodysuit and take it apart around Halloween, but since I'm a big girl in certain places, and small in the others, my, cost my patterns and all that have to be changed constantly depending on, well, if I've grown some, if I've shrank in places, it's the same thing with any of my costumes. My nine-tailed fox one, the top is a corset. With the Serenity cosplay, it was my old prom dress from in high school. So yeah, I've, I've grown a fair bit since then, so yeah, in all honesty. 
I have to redo that costume entirely because like I've outgrown it. So I have to make a new one. That's always fun. But anyway, I know I'm rambling. <laughs> anyway, I'm just updating you guys on what I've done so far for the Yugi costume. The Bardock one is almost complete and I'm starting high school. I'm not starting high school. I'm starting college my third semester. Well, third year. A two-year college transfer. <laughs> I don't know. It happens to everybody, but still. Anyway, that is my progress on the Yugi cosplay and a little update on what I've done with Bardock. This is Dark Angel signing off. I'll catch y'all later.